Hi, it's me. And so now I'm in eighth grade at Westwood Junior High. And today I had an app be well, now in the app store that was approved two days ago. And here it, it is, if you can see it. In so video. cool. So proud. There we go. Shoot around. Hi, I'm Riley Testa. I'm 18 years old, and I live in Dallas, Texas. I'm currently a senior at Richardson High School, where I do schoolwork just like anyone else, while of course making time to have fun with my friends. However, when I get home, I start working on something else. I make apps. I'm most well known for my work on GBA for iOS, a Game Boy Advance emulator for iPhones, but my development career actually began about five years ago when I made an app called Tutoring. The app was really simple. It allowed you to use your iPhone's camera to shoot at objects with virtual lasers, or alternatively, you could shoot at still images by tapping wherever you wanted to shoot. Developing Shoot Around gave me the basic knowledge I needed to continue making apps, so I began work on a professional app called Camera Prime, and it was actually a success. I could explain it, but I think myself from the past would do it better. Hi, and welcome to Tap Your App. I'm your host, Eric Dick, co-founder of tap for tap the free cross-promotion exchange for mobile application developers. Today we're here with Riley Testit, um, Do a Doogie Howser-esque uh, developer, maker of Camera Prime, um, and, uh, and someone who's uh, excited about, about lifelong, uh, a lifelong coding pursuit. Uh, welcome to the show today, Riley. How you doing? Good, good. Thanks for having me. No problem. So tell me a bit about Camera Prime, uh, your app there. What what were some of the features that, that you wanted that you weren't seeing in the market at the time? Um, well, the really the main feature I wanted was the fact that it had to be easy and really similar to the camera app. So there were lots of camera apps that could do a lot, but they would all be filled with lots of features all over the place. And they, pretty much all the camera apps out there had the features I want, but they were all in different apps. So I wanted to make one app that was simple to use and had all the features I wanted. That was the basis for camera prime. So like anti-shake, timer, burst mode, all that stuff. That's nice. in camera prime. Hey, what's up? Operation iDroid here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about GBA for iOS. It's called GBA for iOS. It's a Game Boy Advance emulator for iOS. GBA 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 for iOS. Woo! GBA for iOS was born out of necessity. The necessity to have a Game Boy Advance emulator on my phone. I began working on it about two years ago when I stumbled across some old code that was used to make a Game Boy Advance emulator for iPhones. Unfortunately, it didn't work. I spent the next few months fixing up the code and eventually I actually got it to work and that was the first version of GBA for iOS. It wasn't until about a year later that I found a way to distribute the app to everyone, at which point the app took off in popularity. By January of this year, GBA for iOS had been downloaded more than 15 million times. In fact, it became so popular that Apple ended up shutting it down. Or at least, they thought they did. People found a way around Apple's restrictions. Apparently you could just set the date back and the app would work again. Not long after Apple attempted to shut me down, I began work on the second version of GBA for iOS. And to do that, I needed the help of my good friend, Paul Thorson. Yeah, woo! Who's going uh, next? Uh, I'm Paul Thorson. Uh, I help Riley. I'm the official graphic designer for GBA for iOS. Come on, Paul, be more excited than that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I started working with Riley 
when me and a friend came to him with an idea for an app and uh, thought it'd be cool to get into that business. It'd be a cool learning experience uh, and we can potentially make some money. So that would be icing on the cake. Well, that app idea uh, was called Who, uh, and it allows you to Uh, it's been in development uh, for about a little over a year. We had a couple restructurings and start overs on that app, but I think we've really uh, got a hold or a grasp of what we really want to do with it. And so we're hoping to finish it up pretty quickly. Well, working with Riley, uh, I actually really enjoy it. Uh, he's a good friend, uh, but there's a lot of lazy. That's probably how I describe him. Uh, but it's really fun. Uh, we get together a lot at his house uh, and he codes and I'll do some graphic work. Uh, a lot of times he ends up on the bed sleeping and while I'm working so that happens but it's a good opportunity for us to discuss uh, discuss what we want to do with certain things uh, pertaining to the app and uh, ask opinions of each other. Um, um, I'm Melissa Serwick. I do tech support, and I'm also Riley's girlfriend. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Melissa is actually one of the best things that's ever happened to me because of GBA for iOS. She downloaded my app and contacted me on Twitter, just saying that my app was really cool. We started talking, we exchanged phone numbers, and we actually met up for the first time in August of last year. A few months later, we became official. She lives in Connecticut, so I don't get to see her that often but she really is an amazing person. And she alone makes me happy that I made GBA for iOS. GBA for iOS has had a tremendous effect on my life. I've made new friends, got a girlfriend, have had some articles written about me, including some big ones such as Time, and even had the chance recently to speak at UTD over my developer career. Even though GBA for iOS 2.0 is finally finished, I'm not finished making apps. Making apps is my passion, and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Hopefully, people will like my next app as much as GBA for iOS. Five, four, three, two, one!